Victor has been one of the most popular and consistent champions in the mid lane since pre-season 12, and he's basically been dominating ever since. So we've put together a quick guide to help get you started. Victor is a mage who excels at skirmishing and pushing lanes while dealing huge amounts of burst and control in teamfights. He scales like a monster and has incredibly consistent AoE damage throughout the course of any game. He works pretty well into almost all team comps too and always seems to have a way to get through even the more difficult matchups. However, Victor does struggle defensively when his stun's on cooldown and has a bit of a hard time getting back into games if he does get put behind early game. For your runes you can go for various options depending on the matchup, but the most common and consistent one at the moment is based around first strike. This gives you a bit more trading power and extra gold generation. Then you just want to go for boots, biscuits and cosmic insight. After that grab yourself mana flow band and then transcendence. This gives you ability haste and then from level 11 onwards takedowns reduce basic ability cooldowns by 20%, which is pretty insane due to how strong Victor's spells are. You're going to want to max your E first for poke, wave clear and lane control. Then max your Q second for extra burst and shielding and finish off with that W. We'll talk about augmented abilities and your passive later in the video. So Ludens Tempest is a solid mythic item to take on Victor. It increases his burst as well as providing movement speed, wave clear and scaling magic penetration. Lionry's Anguish can also be a great choice though giving him all of that burn damage which really helps against enemy team comps with more overall health. After that you want to go for items like Shadow Flame, Rabidon's Death Cap, Zonya's Hourglass and of course Avoid Stuff. These are the kind of items you'll find yourself building in the majority of games. Victor does have quite a few other items he can build though. For extra damage you've got things like Lich Bane, Cosmic Drive and Morellos and then there's other situational items like Magi's Soul Stealer or even a Banshee's Veil. All of these items can be super useful in the right games against the right comps. Don't forget we have all of Victor's item builds and runes and everything else on our website and this gets updated every single day based on who's using what and what's the most effective. Check it out by clicking the link in the description and consider grabbing our desktop app too. Then you can get all of this information in Champion Select and in game as well. Now when it comes to those easier matchups, Victor is going to thrive in lanes when there's not too much risk and he can just keep his distance, farm up, poke and scale for free. You can easily bully your opponent with your E whilst you're clearing waves and get up close and personal with your Q and auto attack too if you are feeling aggressive enough. You want to try and time your harass when your enemy comes in to last hit minions and even consider trapping them with your W and bursting them down with your ultimate when you are level 6. Victor struggles against champions that can outrange him and bully him or those with high mobility and burst that can close the gap easily and try and take him down often. You're going to need to use your E to stay out of danger and farm and poke from a safe distance and always use your Q for its shield to nullify any incoming trades and all ins. Make sure you don't waste your stun as you want to use this when your lane opponent jumps on you. As long as you don't fall too far behind here though you're going to scale into the late game super well. So try and get some gold elsewhere instead from those early dragon fights or just roam and set up ganks instead if you fancy it. Victor synergizes extremely well with junglers who can jump onto their targets and CC them, allowing him to follow that up with his W and damage to burst them down easily. He also works amazingly though with any teammates who have AoE crowd control and engage as he can use them to deal some pretty insane teamfight damage. During the lane phase you want to look to poke your opponent down with your E whilst farming and use your Q and your empowered auto attack if they get too close. It's completely up to you whether you want to play aggressively or just farm up and scale and this likely is going to depend on the matchup. But it's important to remember that either way you're going to become a beast in the late game so sometimes it might not be worth taking too many risks. You want to be a bit careful using your E too much in the early game as it will burn through your mana whilst also pushing your lane permanently. Victor is very susceptible to ganks in the early game, especially without his flash, so always keep your W ready and just be aware of where they might be. Once you've hit level 6 you have a lot more kill pressure with that ultimate. Try and wear down your enemy with your Q and your E and then go in for the kill when their potion supply runs dry. Alternatively you can also keep your eye on those early dragons as you can use these as a way to win those early teamfights with your significant AoE damage and control. Talking of teamfights you're going to be looking to deal as much consistent AoE damage as possible. Victor can deal a huge amount of damage at this point in the game, so make sure you're sticking with your teammates, grouping up and being ready to contribute in any way that you can. You want to try and poke your enemies down with your E as often as you can, aiming to soften up your enemies for any allied engage. When your team's initiators do pull the trigger though, you want to layer all of your AoE damage and CC with your R and your W into that cluster of enemies. If you're being dove by frontliners, you want to use your W on yourself though, and your Q's shield to keep yourself alive. If you have your Flash and your Zonyas too, you're actually pretty damn difficult to take down and this should give your teammates time to catch up and help you out as long as you aren't too far out of position. Let's finish off by taking a look at Victor's passive which is a huge part of playing him. So you're going to become a bit stronger when you upgrade each of your basic abilities and the order of these can be different depending on the matchups. You do this by acquiring Hex Fragments and with each 100 you can upgrade another basic ability. You're going to get one Hex Fragment from killing minions and monsters. You get 5 for epic monsters and siege minions and you get 25 from champion takedowns. That means 4 takedowns is all you need to get another upgrade. But what do these upgrades actually do then? Your upgraded Q gives you a movement speed boost which you should consider upgrading first if you're against assassins and threatening enemy matchups. 
You'll use this upgraded movement speed a ton throughout games as it's your main way to reposition and kite throughout fights. Your E upgrade makes your energy beam also explode one second after its use adding some extra harass and wave clip. Typically you're going to upgrade this one first in those low risk matchups. Your upgraded W will make your Q and E and initial ultimate damage slow enemies by 20% for one second too. And then after you've upgraded all of your basic abilities your ultimate gets upgraded too and basically it just travels faster. Don't underestimate just how much stronger you are with all of these augments though. If you do snowball on Victor you get these faster, as well as items and experience as usual and then you're just going to be very difficult to beat just because of how much you actually scale. Thanks for checking out this short guide on Victor, we hope it helped and good luck and have fun.